virtual instruments are not cheating. I don't consider that cheating. I don't think that, you know, I think that's just another tool that a songwriter can use to write songs. And look, especially when you've got some writer's block happening and you're like stuck, virtual instruments is just an incredible way to get out of that. You know, if you play another instrument, that's amazing. So let's say you're playing guitar and you know, you've got a piano, I've got a keyboard uh, slash piano in the other room. I play it, I, it gets me out of, it usually snaps me out of any writer's block that I have. Even if I'm playing the same chord progression that I was playing on the guitar. It's a different approach, it's a, it's a, different, it's a different perspective, and it just, it just, it works. So virtual instruments, I classify in that, in that same way, you know, it's just an amazing way to get over writer's block, or even if you don't have writer's block, it's an amazing way to get new inspiration, new, fresh ideas, because whatever instrument you play, you know, chances are you're like most of us, which we usually play the same patterns. You know, I pick up the guitar, my key is E major, I love E major, E minor is a close second, but E, that's, that's the key that I usually work in, and I'm always in that key, like I have to make a conscious effort to get out of that key. But when I get on the keyboard, it's not E, it's actually not anything, because I'm not a proper pianist or, you know, keyboardist or whatever, that's not my main instrument, so anything goes there. It just opens up new horizons. Virtual instruments is just another level. It's just another tool.